welcome to another DCS tutorial and today we're going to be looking at something a little different. I'm going to show how we can use a fire controller and artillery to support operations with combined arms. I've set up a simple mission which has an SA-11 battery which is near to the runway but hidden. I've got an M270 multiple launch rocket system around 9 nautical miles to the south and a fire controller to the west of the airfield. I'm going to start off by finding the SAM site with the fire controller. Okay, and there it is on a bearing of 280, but that's actually quite a large window, so let's see if we can narrow it down a little. Okay, 280 starts here, and ends there, and we're looking right in the middle. And if we laze, we can see the range is 9,300 metres. OK, let's now go to the F10 map and plot that location relative to the fire controller. You also need to make sure you change your measurement from imperial to metric, so it shows metres and kilometres. OK, that's the bottom of the 280 degree window. And there's the top, and we want to be roughly in the middle. And let's now set the range to 9,300 metres. Now we just need to put a map marker down, or you could write down the coordinates in whatever format you wish. We can now fire at that location from tactical command, but first let's look at how to do it from a player perspective. To do that, what we need to do is plot from the artillery to that marker or coordinates to get our fire solution. Now we do have to be careful with our bearings as if you use optics and it uses a magnetic reading and if not using optics, it shows true. I have reported this as a bug to ED, so hopefully they'll resolve this in due course. Okay, that's right on the edge of 350 degrees, almost 349 degrees, and the range is 17,100 meters. So, we'll jump into the M270 and fire a single round. Now, we'll jump back to a fire controller to spot where that lands. Okay, that was a fraction long, but perfect azimuth. So, let's jump back into the M270 and we'll fire for effect. You probably can't tell, but I'm literally just moving the cursor a tiny amount after each launch. Literally one pixel at a time. six rounds away and let's see how we do. A little bit short there. Now a little bit long. That one's very close. And finally a good hit.
and another good hit. So that's a search radar and two of the tells plus some support vehicles destroyed. Pretty good result. As I mentioned earlier, we can also use tactical command to control an entire battery and it's even easier to do. All we need is to select add target and place it as required. Then select the target radius, I'm going to go with 340 feet. Select the number of rounds fired, so I'm going to select 30, which is half of the total. And then click fire. That's all for today, so thank you for watching, and if you like the video, please do hit like and subscribe.